What's up ladies and gentlemen, Iridescent here bringing you yet another Resident Evil 4 boss fight video. Matter of fact, the final boss fight of Resident Evil 4. So, as always, I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks with you guys that I have found in my numerous attempts at fighting this guy. So, let's get right into the video. First things first, we're going to get into some equipment and weapons that I think you will need. Starting off with a flashbang, as always, the flashbang, one of the most important pieces of equipment in the entire game, basically used for literally every boss fight and most enemies throughout the entire game so of course bring as many of those as you possibly can next up we have the riot gun to be fair you don't necessarily need to bring this unless you have more than enough ammo in your broken butterfly and decent aim but if you're like me and kind of don't have a whole lot of ammo and or suck at aiming with the thing i would bring this as a backup i would bring the sniper rifle as well this is mainly for the second phase of the fight or rather the final phase of the fight we'll get more into that later on in the video for this boss fight i also use a TMP or really any SMG of your preference. I use this to fend off from the bug things, I forget what they're called, whenever Sadler decides to uh, call in the horde. And last but certainly not least, the Broken Butterfly is by far the most important weapon you can bring along with you on this fight. This thing, I mean, at minus max level, but it is so incredibly overpowered and it really makes or breaks this fight. And with that all out of the way, let's get straight into the boss fight. Stay here. I won't be long. Okay. Ada! Immediately pull your broken butterfly out and shoot his left eye before he even jumps down. Once he jumps down, take out the right eye. This will stun him, take the time to reload, wait for him to lay his head down and get three shots on him. Sometimes you only get two. Either way though, as soon as he gets up, immediately turn around, pull out a flashbang and throw it to stun the bugs to keep the bugs away. Then just kind of rinse and repeat, get him stunned, but this time only shoot him once and then do a stab. I actually found this strategy from another YouTuber. He goes by Padalog TV. I hope I'm saying that right, but I will leave a link to his channel in the description below and I highly recommend that you check him out. He does gameplay walkthroughs without commentary and his skill is pretty much unmatched. Dude's phenomenal. So yeah, go ahead and check him out. If you're quick enough with your flashbang and your broken butterfly here, you can actually get another stun on him. If you're too slow though, sometimes he'll either attack you or he'll just simply jump over on the tower and call in the swarm. I was paying absolutely zero attention here. I didn't realize that I had him stunned. I thought the other eyeballs were still open, so I was going around to do that. That's when I found out. Once he jumps over to the tower to call in the swarm, pull out your SMG and line yourself up directly behind this little pillar thing and just fend yourself off. Just keep looking left and right. Make sure the bugs aren't in your face. It should be all right.
I got lucky there. Sometimes he he will jump back over to attack you. I got lucky though. He just jumped back. So I am on a broken butterfly ammo, that's why I have the shotgun here too. And just like that, we are in the final phase of the fight. And here's where you're going to pull out your sniper rifle. Just keep taking shots at them until you do enough damage. That's when Ada will throw the RPG to you. The attacks here are fairly simple to dodge. They're pretty well telegraphed. And once you get the RPG from Ada, that is pretty much it. It is game over. 